back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm sharing with you guys all my tips on how I take my Instagram pictures alone during this lockdown period. My first thought of taking pictures in my bedroom was, F this. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, there's pros and cons to it. I'll just pop up some pictures now of the ones that I have taken in my bedroom and in my garden. I got my sister to take one of me in the garden and it was so much quicker then when I took, was taking some of myself, like sitting on, um, I've got to say it now, like sitting on this little chair in my garden and I got my sister to take one of me up against the garage and it took about five minutes. I was sat there for um, probably about an hour. Also because I actually take my photos on my camera now because I don't actually have a tripod for my phone and it, my camera quality is so much better than my phone anyway. I still have an iPhone 6s Plus so my camera quality is not the best. The pros for taking your pictures alone is obviously you can take as long as you want if you're not happy with it, if you want to change something, your hair or something like that, you haven't got anyone going, come on. Another con, my room gets so messy because I have to move stuff to be able to take the photo so there's nothing in the photo, that's another Honestly, that is like, that's the probably the worst part of it. So it's a bit harder to get those angles. I find it a lot easier when Jed is taking my photos to get a really, really nice, good angle and like line stuff up, if that makes sense. So like make sure it's like the edge of, you can't see past the edge of the wardrobe. Unless someone can take it right there and then, I just prefer just to take them by myself. But obviously if Jed was here, I would be using Jed, but he's not. The way I do it with my camera and my phone, I actually have an app the Canon app on my phone so I can literally see the picture straight away my shoes not in it I can just quickly adjust that whereas sometimes Jed's a bit better at now Jed's my boyfriend he's a bit better at now but sometimes I remember like before he'll just crop half my shoe I really have been trying to just up my Instagram like the quality and my uploads literally everyone says if you want to get somewhere on Instagram you've got to be posting daily I haven't even plugged myself yet so my Instagram is so lovely Jay, I'll leave it on the screen here now. I'm trying to make it more aesthetic. I've never really had like a really aesthetically pleasing Instagram, so that's something that I'm trying to do. I take all my photos on my Canon G7X here, um, and it's really good because you connect it to the Wi-Fi and then also from that camera connect, you can just like save all the pictures straight from the camera onto your phone. So you don't have to plug it into a laptop. Skip to me actually showing you how to do it. Okay, so this is my make do setup. I switched between just using the wardrobe behind and this, and then I've also added my duvet off my bed. Just had to strip it. Um, and I've also, this is my little prop that I'm using today. So this is a, I went through my mum's old Cosmopolitan magazines and this is one from 1978. So this is what I'm going to be using. That is the make do one for now. Right, so just ignore all of this mess here. So I'm going to show you just how to set it up basically to take your pictures. If you, this only works with a Canon. You probably can do it for like nickel. On the bottom of a Canon G7X, there's a little Wi-Fi button under there. So I press that. I click iPhone and I go into settings, Wi-Fi, and then should see the camera come on. You want to download an app called Camera Connect for Canon. Oh, that didn't work. And then click here and bam, you can now see me on my phone. This is now your viewfinder and this is how you're going to take your photo. So what I like to do is I click this little square button and I put it on a two second time. And then I get into position and I'll just play around with this and adjust it so like as you can see my mirror is in the way there. Okay so shoot number one I've already got the photos on my phone so I can look at them now. I've gone through and deleted the ones that I'm like definitely not. So I did originally try opening like holding the magazine open. But the problem is my good side is this side and the side of the front page of the magazine was this side. I move it around a lot and move myself around a lot as well and I find that really helps. I like my Instagram to be quite airy and light if you like it's going to be quite dark or something like that then i just put a white sheet up and put my duvet down you don't have to do that okay so that will do for shoot number one it was a little bit difficult then to get the angle because i wanted the front of oh my god my knees are like jelly now i wanted the front like the side of the cosmopolitan to be facing the camera but that side is this side and that's my bad side and this is my good side i tried a few different kind of shots so like some of the magazine open some of the magazine closed like resting on my leg um, I always do variations just so like I've got like a choice. I'll just pop a few of my favourites on the screen now. I'm actually really pleased with how these came out and 
I've got a large selection for me to choose from of like different poses, the way, like the direction I'm looking and stuff like that. Now for shoot number two, I actually have half an hour to shoot this one, so need to be quick. But I've trying out the blanket. I'm gonna see how this looks. So I wanted to include a little bit of color in an outfit. Green and purple together is just one of my favorites. I love having just bright colors like that together. And I just think it's so on trend at the moment. I really liked the outfit then I just paired it with like a black skirt. I actually put my throw up which is just like one of those big white throws from Primark and it worked wonders. It goes all the way down to the floor because at the bottom of my wardrobe it's like do, 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 if that makes sense so there's like a gap there and in photos it doesn't, it doesn't look the best. So the good thing about my throw is that it went down and then I could pull it out like even like a bed sheet with a pattern on. Oh my god, that's such a big idea. I never even thought of that tool just now. That could actually be really quite cool. I did a few ones sitting down first and then I kind of thought, I just love my full outfit, like head to toe kind of pictures. So I switched it up a bit and I got myself a little heel and I did some without the throw on. So you can see the bottom of the wardrobe and there's also this I don't know, it's like a virgin, it's a virgin box, which is accidentally knocked off the wall the other day and I can't really get it, it's like the thing that covers the box and I can't get it back on properly, so you can kind of see that in that. Then I also put my fur up just so then I'd have the choice between the two so I can see which one I prefer. Um, and I just did a little pose just with one leg up. You lift like one leg up and have that one heel in it and your other foot you can't see, you then don't have to wear another heel so your feet don't ache. So just lift a little leg up, bam, outfit picture sword. Lift that leg up, show my little tattoo a little bit, show my heel. Good little tip if you want your pictures to look different. Just do a simple little hairstyle, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. I didn't do it this time because my hair is curled and to be honest when my hair is curled I don't like it as much in different hairstyles as to when it's straightened so I just left it the same for this for this shoe. So this is the surface that I use for my flat lays or well for the majority of them or I'll use like my white rug or even that white throw. So for today I've got another Cosmopolitan magazine this one is from 1985. Lastly my last picture for this shoot um i decided to do a little flat lay flat lays are a good way of splitting up all the pictures of you so for the pictures and flat lays get less likes in with a selfie which is obviously that's just you'd expect it they look really really nice on your instagram if you are going for that aesthetic feed and it just gives people a break from seeing your face you know so many people now are doing more filler pictures i used to actually do filler pictures when I was younger I just used to upload pictures of random stuff when I got to like 18 I was a bit more like oh these aren't getting likes so I'm not gonna upload them so I did do two different sets of pictures so I took one with this little pot and then I was like I've got an 80s magazine here and oh, I know people aren't people aren't gonna know but I'm extra like that I was like I really want something that does look quite vintagey but I was like I really want something actually from the 80s so I went down to my mum I said mum what have you got from the 80s she said I've got some neck some jewellery blah blah so anyway I went up into her room had a little rummage around and I came across this little perfume refill thing and I just thought oh my god this is perfect it's gold I absolutely love gold and it's a little vintage Christian Dior um refillable perfume that was my nan's and I just thought oh my god this is gonna be perfect for my filler picture it's actually from the 80s so it's, oh god so it's actually perfect for me that's the kind of details that i love and i experimented with it a little bit moving it around putting it above the magazine next to the magazine moving the magazine up lying it down next to the magazine but i just really wanted the cd detail in it i'm really pleased with how those how that filler picture came out and fingers with filler pictures as well they look so much better when you've edited them to fit in with your like instagram theme so yeah, I just love a little filler picture. I always hit them on white because like I said, I like my bright, airy and white basically, but not white where I wouldn't upload something that's not white, like hasn't got a white background if that makes sense because I upload pictures against like leaves. I also take mine probably no later than like 
now, now that you guys know what time it is, it's about 5.40 now. So I stopped taking them just after 5 because that's when the sun starts, well, for my room anyway, the sun starts shining in. I get a little shadows and sun in my face. Morning until then is a really good time because I don't like using artificial light. I'm actually not using artificial light now. Honestly, natural daylight is just the way for me. If you can, try to get photos in the daytime and just use what you have. It's, I don't live in, my house is not Instagrammable at all. My room is a mess. Like the only real place I have to take Instagram pictures is against my wardrobe. My garden isn't very Instagrammable either, but I work with what I have. So it's just about trial and error basically. Stick some music on as well, because otherwise you can get quite frustrated. It, the music makes it better. Because then you kind of like get into it a little bit more with your music, well I do anyway. I personally can't really tell if I'm gonna like a, photo, like a photo until I see it actually on my phone rather than my camera. If you're struggling a bit for like poses, um, filler pictures, look on Pinterest, look at like your favorite influencers pages. I think that's all my tips I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's helped you out a little bit if you are struggling to get those pictures in your house. Before lockdown, I didn't even know that I could connect my phone to my camera and take pictures, so it was absolutely honestly a lifesaver when i found out about that i'm thinking of doing like a part two to this of how i edit my instagram photos how i make them for the instagram ratio you know when you go to upload a photo and then like your head's cut off but you've got to fit your shoes in but if you want to fit your head in your shoes are cut off let me know if that is something you would like to see i mean i'm probably going to do it anyway thank you so so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>